AI just revolutionized how we are going to be creating product photos on Amazon for the foreseeable future. What am I talking about? Well, ChatGPT came out with their new AI model for image generation, and it has some of the best product renderings I have ever seen. So let's do some testing, and I'll show you exactly how to get your own product photos to look fantastic through image generation without the need for much design work at all. So coming on over here, we will go to Google. I already Googled Death Wish Coffee being held. I just wanted to get you know a random picture of it, right? So I don't want any of these that are already done because uh, I really want to show you guys the power uh, of the actual image. So let's copy this. We'll come over here. We are going to do create image uh, and we are going to say create image of product rendering for this death wish uh, coffee. We are going to put the image in there. Once it's upload, we're going to do this and we will get within time. I will say the actual image generation does take some time. So that's the one copy out here, but of course it's going to take some time. It's creating an entire image from scratch. So uh, once that is done, we'll come back over here. And just like that, it has created what I would say is a perfect product rendering photo of Death Wish Coffee. It took this picture again, this one right here, essentially looked at the product itself and then immediately made this. So this is really, really cool to see and really cool to uh, start to see what AI can actually do for the average seller. On top of that, you can start to actually create even more photos as well. So we could be looking at doing even more when it comes to the text on the screen and even some infographic type photos as well. So this is a really, really cool thing that uh, ChatGPT has come out with. And I really am thinking that this is going to revolutionize how people are going to do design work on Amazon. It also creates the ability for you know anyone to essentially be their own designer nowadays. It could put entire agencies and design companies out of business. Now, that being said, always is going to be a first draft, right? So it's not going to always, always, always get this 100% perfect on the first run, but this is, you know, 95% of the way there. You're still going to need likely a designer to do minor tweaks, add things here and there, but this is really, really good. I'm going to do a couple more and then come back and show you those as well. All right, and now with a little bit of time and magic, we have some new photos. And these ones I think are even better than this initial rendering that we did. So for the first uh, actual prompt that I did, I just had it create an infographic style product photo that has key selling points listed. So from that, we got this. This, in my opinion, would be a very, very simple, very easy to put up design for a third or fourth photo on your actual products uh, page on Amazon. This is not bad at all. It lists out the key aspects, nitrogen infused. Uh, it gives everything you need for the actual photo. So uh, let's go back here. I also then said, now create a realistic lifestyle photo of someone drinking the coffee. This is where ChatGPT did not live up to the hype. So as you can see here, uh, the actual person it looks fairly realistic. I think most people would be able to tell it's AI. But that being said, we do still see uh, that the text is wrong on this. Uh, it doesn't really say Death Wish Coffee. It doesn't really say Nitro Brew. So this, uh, I'd give this probably an F. I would be saying that this is really going to be a problem. Uh, it's very obvious that it's AI in this scenario. That being said, you could take this photo and do some minor editing to change out, let's say, just the can itself on here, and you'd get a halfway decent lifestyle picture. Is it going to be perfect? No, but for the average person who doesn't know how to do designs and doesn't know how to create photos on Amazon, this still isn't all that awful, as long as, again, we take out and change this actual can, because this is very obviously AI here. Now, for the final one that I did, I just set, said create a lifestyle photo of the Death Wish Coffee sitting on a coffee table with the Death Wish Coffee slogan on the image. This one did not disappoint. This is probably one of the best ones yet. Again, the big thing you will notice is that the actual can itself looks a little off here. So I think, you know, more discerning eyes will be able to pretty easily tell that this is AI, but... That being said, this is 
not bad in the slightest. Comparatively to Amazon's own image generation, which if you have tried out, Amazon advertising has the ability for image generation with your products, and it is bad. <laughs> it makes a product that is typically, you know, let's say the size of my hand, look like the size of a tiny, tiny little pin on a table. It just does not get sizing portions correctly. So Amazon's image generation has been really, really bad. That being said, this is really, really good in my opinion, especially for those who aren't design savvy. I am one person, Soch, who is not a designer at the end of the day. I can tell you how a image should look, what it should include, what looks good, what doesn't ask me to actually create a lot of those images. And I'm going to flounder because I'm just not an artistic person in the slice. That being said, this gives, you know, the ability for someone like me to create a entire image stack in just a couple of minutes, as long as, you know, I can do some minor tweaks, some minor edits, maybe add the text on there. Again, this is not bad when you look at the idea of, yes, the can doesn't look great there. Uh, this is another one I was doing as well, where I was just trying to get some of the differences of the actual coffee. So, you know, giving it a little bit more, I wanted it to create A plus content. And that is the primary area where I think it fails so far. You just can't create A plus content. That primarily just has to do with the sizing, the fact that A plus content is multiple multiple modules. So it doesn't understand that even when I gave it uh, you know, some practice rounds as well. So I was giving it some practice here of showing it A plus content and it, uh, it, it didn't really live up to the hype for A plus content. So this is the one area where I think image generation is going to be working so far. But that being said, uh, from the aspect of, you know, here's another one of the lifestyles that I end up creating here. A little bit odd here with the keyboard, but overall, this looks halfway decent, right? So I think the area that's going to be working really, really well is going to be the actual product photos. So for the time being, if you are looking at trying to try this out yourself, it's fairly simple. Just use the newest uh, GPT image generation module. And then on top of that, the prompts themselves do not have to be all that complicated. You can start to add different prompts around the sizing as well. It's the one thing I didn't do here where you would want to add in uh, the actual product image sizing requirements, things like that on Amazon, just as an initial prompt so that it knows what to expect from the actual size you're trying to get, what types of things it can and can't say, etc. So those are the basics that I would do here. But overall, this is a really, really, really cool new feature within GBT, and I am excited for AI. This is probably one of the first things in AI I have been really excited for in a while. So I really want to see this continue flourishing. However, I will say, I think agencies are going to have a bit of trouble on their hands. Uh, people at the end of the day may end up using this and I worry that it's either going to do one of two things. Either one, it's going to create a uh, lot of agencies going out of business, a lot of design agencies, or two, it's going to end up creating a lot of new agencies, <laughs> a lot of new competition out there of just people who are just creating, you know, half-baked uh, designs with AI that they don't do any tweaks or edits on. Again, this is great for a first draft. I think all of these are fantastic for a first draft. I do not think that this is a final draft. I don't think this is a final draft. This is a, a good product rendering. I think this is probably, you know, if you're not someone who knows how to do a product rendering, this is fantastic. That being said, I don't think that any of these are necessarily what I would consider perfect from a design aspect. You are always going to need to know how to do exact designs. And uh, I'm excited, though, to see how much further we can push this and how much you can really do as far as some of these image generations go, and if we can really get next to perfect as far as a product image should be. So stay tuned for some more on this. I'm gonna be doing some more testing and throwing out some more videos, some more content on this here shortly.